Hi everyone, Tony Bonitz here with Starline Windows. A general question would be, why does glass break? Now, I'm not gonna go back into the production of glass and float glass plants. However, I will touch on a few reasons why the glass could break, like this one, in your window that's in your home that was recently built or even an older home. Now, glass has a tendency to spontaneously break for a variety of reasons. However, it is very difficult to predict and determine the, reason, the root cause or the reason why. Now, then that being said, that is the reason why the glass and window industry has a difficult time offering glass breakage warranties on your new windows. So what causes glass breakage? There's basically two factors or two main reasons that cause glass breakage in your windows. Now, the first one being mechanical force and the second being thermal stress, aside from impact from a rock, a stone, a baseball, or anything like that, or a lawnmower making a rock go flying to your window. So mechanical force, what are some examples of mechanical force? Well, the, the first one would be basically like mother nature with a strong wind. So with extreme wind, windy conditions, you can actually get major flex and deflections on your window and door systems, causing the frames to flex, the glass to flex, to a point of no return where it's flexing so much that it's got no choice but to break somewhere and cause a, cause a crack. Now, also if you have new construction, like a new home, you could have your building drying out, the, uh, the backfill settling, the, the, the foundation settling. You could get cracks in your concrete, of course, as, as you probably are aware. Now, settling of your home could cause um, stress on your frame, which would in turn cause stress on your glass, causing a breakage. Even machines working nearby, like heavy machinery, heavy equipment going by, minor earthquakes could all cause set, um, vibrations in your home that could actually cause stress fractures on your glass. Blasting, of course, if they're blasting in a new subdivision or making a new road. So yeah, heavy equipment working by, heavy machines working close to the home, hammering actually nearby a window. As long as you're putting mechanical force and vibrating that home, vibrating that window system, you could get spontaneous glass breakage. Now, the other main factor for glass breakage is called thermal stress. Now, thermal stress is the difference in temperature between the center of the sealed unit to the edge of the glass. Now, what are some reasons that could cause the difference in temperature in the glass? Well, it could be a very cold night where your window system and your glass is very cold, it's frozen, and on a bright sunny morning, even in the winter time, where that glass is heating up, it could cause a thermal break because it is cold and is trying to heat up very fast. It's similar to if you take a, um, a hot glass out of the dishwasher and you put some cold water in it, what will happen? That cold glass can just shatter, it'll break in your hand. Now, another thing could be if you have overhangs in your home that are shading a portion of your window. So say you have an overhang covering about 50% or more of your glass uh, where that part of it is frozen cold and then the sun hits it, you could get, again, a thermal break just like that glass example. Now, another major one that we see in the window industry is aftermarket films applied to sealed units. Now, we frown upon it and most other window companies also do the same thing because if you apply an aftermarket film to an already low E sealed unit or even a clear sealed unit, what you're doing is you're, added, you're adding more heat stress to that sealed unit because that, ultramar that aftermarket film is actually absorbing all the sun's energy, all the sun's rays, and it's gonna to transfer to the edge of the glass, which makes it very sensitive and could spontaneously break on you. So another example of a thermal break could be your window coverings. Now, how can my window coverings cause a breakage of my glass? Let me explain. So imagine that this window covering was actually so tight to the rough, op uh, not rough opening, your uh, inside finishing, that you created a pocket in there that was so tight, you could get no airflow behind your window covering to the inside uh, pane of your glass. Now, imagine this, the heat in the summertime coming through that window and being trapped in between that airspace, between your blind and the, and the inside pane of your glass, getting so hot that obviously it's gonna cause a heat stress, thermal stress to the inside pane of your glass causing a breakage. Now, we've seen it many times where they had window coverings that were so tight, you had um, that old other type of window blind called a full with the blackout blinds all the way down tight because you don't want any light right and you see that all the time so you get thermal stress related breakages on the inside pane of your glass due to your window coverings 
Now, what you want, um, want to always do is, of course, make sure you've got tolerances around your window covering. So we prefer like an inch or so on each side, maybe three quarters minimum. Um, this type of blind, you can also open it up to make sure you've got airflow going in to heat up that inside pane of your glass in the winter time or vice versa in the summertime where you're going to actually cool off the inside pane of that glass. So all airflow to your, uh, to your glass is always very important for condensation purposes also. Now, another reason um, would be direct heat source. Never put a direct heat source on your, on your glass. Let me tell you a quick little story here. About 12, 15 years ago, I can't remember now, a good friend of mine called me over saying, can you check out uh, her daughter's bedroom because her, she got a broken glass, broken piece of glass. I can no problem. So I went to check it out and she's got an older window system and it was a slider and there was, it was winter time, really cold. And there was ice build up on the corners of her window. No problem because it's an old window, it condensed, it froze, this and that. Now I look on the dresser and there's a blow dryer there. There's no mirror, but there's a blow dryer. So I go, what did you do with the blow dryer? And she said, well, we tried to melt the ice because it was frozen. So we put a direct heat source on the ice to melt it. I said, well, that's your no-no. You never do that. Again, thermal stress, the difference between the center pane of the sealed unit to the edge of the glass. So adding that direct heat source to that ice, to the glass surface, caused an instant break. So yeah, never do that. <laughs> Um, that was a quick lesson. She learned that real quick. So yeah, those are some of the reasons why glass can break. Now for any more frequently asked questions, how to videos, check us out on our Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, subscribe, like, share our videos, and we hope to hear from you soon. And I hope this was a big help to you.